we're going to be looking at oscilloscopes and how you can determine frequency from an oscilloscope. A microphone converts sound into electrical energy. And if the microphone is connected to an oscilloscope, the oscilloscope can display the electrical signal and it's displayed as a voltage against time. Oscilloscopes have a Y gain setting which sets the scale along the Y axis, the voltage, and a time based setting which sets the scale along the X axis, which is the time. So in this case, the Y gain setting is 3.0 volts per centimetre or 3.0 volts per division per square along the Y axis. So each square, each centimetre or division represents 3.0 volts. And the time base setting is 2.0 milliseconds per centimetre or 2.0 milliseconds per division which means each square, each division or centimetre represents 2.0 milliseconds. To determine the peak voltage or amplitude we can see it takes one centimetre or one division along the y-axis so the peak voltage is equal to 3.0 volts. The period, which is the time for one complete cycle, we can see takes four centimeters or four divisions along the x axis, and as one centimeter represents 2.0 milliseconds, then four centimeters represents 8.0 milliseconds which is then the period. And so to determine frequency, which equals 1 divided by the time period, that will equal 1 divided by the 8.0 milliseconds, where the milli is times 10 to the minus 3. And so the frequency equals 125 hertz. If we are given the peak voltage and the period for a signal, then we can determine the Y gain setting and the time base setting of the oscilloscope. So, in this case, we know the peak voltage or the amplitude is 10 volts, and that is covering two divisions, two centimeters along the Y axis. So, that means the Y gain setting must be 5.0 volts per centimetre or 5.0 volts per division. And with a period of 12 milliseconds, where a period is the time taken for one complete wave cycle, we can see then that the period of 12 milliseconds is covering six square, six divisions or six centimetres along the x-axis. So that means the time base setting must be 2.0 milliseconds per centimetre or 2.0 milliseconds per division. In this case, the time base setting is changed from 2.0 milliseconds per centimetre to 4.0 milliseconds per centimetre. And so this signal would change. And how we can work it out is to see, well, the period of this signal, which is covering four squares with the 2.0 milliseconds per centimetre time base setting. So that is telling us the period is 8.0 milliseconds. Well, with the new time base setting of 4.0 milliseconds per centimetre, the period of 8.0 milliseconds will then cover 2.0 centimetres or two divisions along the x axis. So this signal will look like this. 
to have a period still of eight centimeters but it's covering two centimeters division along the x-axis.